Hey guys, how's it going? In today's lesson, we're gonna be learning how to make some delicious smoothies with those avocados that we learned how to care for in the last lesson. You can find a link to it right up there. So I'm Mitch Ross and I've been working with Ivy Organics for a few years now. And I'm really excited to share how we can take what we've been growing in the garden and now finding out what we can do with these beautiful fruits that we've cultivated ourselves with these organic, effective products that have been given these six macronutrients, all the macronutrients that these plants need and are now going to be aiding us in our natural biology, in our natural systems. So let's get into it. Let's find out how we can take the fruit that we've grown and find a delicious way to enjoy it. So now that we've taken all the right steps to ensure the health of all of these plants and we've been, we've been feeding them with the quality fertilizer to get them the nice macronutrients that they need. We've been protecting them from the sun with the whitewash, the three-in-one plant guard. We're now gonna learn how we can utilize those fruits that have been infused with all those great nutritional qualities that will then improve our health and our family's health. So for this first ingredient for this smoothie, what I love to use are mangoes. Mangoes are nutrient-rich foods that provide vitamins that are essential for skin and hair health, uh, for quality digestion. These are gonna be great because this is what's gonna provide us the fiber, okay? So we're gonna cut this mango. So when we cut a mango, they can be a little bit intimidating when we're learning how to cut a mango, but the important thing is to take this end off first. So you can see there, inside the mango, it actually has a pit that's shaped like a square. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the mango on that end and we're gonna slice two sides off of it perpendicular to each other right here. And we're gonna be left with a middle piece. And I'll show you what to do with that in a second. You wanna get as close to the pit as possible and you can kinda move the knife around the pit. A serrated knife works best for these mangoes cause they're extremely fibrous, which is good, which is exactly what we want. So there's our first half. Look at that, that looks beautiful. We're gonna take this other half off of here. Beautiful. All right, so we got our two halves and then we're gonna slice off these rounded edges right here. And that's gonna conclude, we're gonna get the most off of this mango here by doing that. You'll have a little bit, you might get a little bit of the fiber from the pit in there. Don't worry about that guys, that's fine. You can leave that in. Perfect. And now we can dispose of the pit and the end, and then we're ready to cut the fruit out of these skins here. I'm gonna take this skin off of this fruit here. So I'm just gonna start it and go slow, guys. Go real slow. Nice and easy. I've been doing this for like six years, guys. I've been living off of these. All right. And then for these, what I like to do, since we're gonna blend it up, I don't wanna take this out in one piece. I actually wanna separate this out. I wanna get it into chunks. And so the best way to get it into chunks I just like to create a crisscross pattern. Create a crisscross pattern there. So I know some people like to fan this out, but what I actually like to do to get the most fruit out of this mango as possible is I like to use a spoon. And because the mango is ripe enough, you can scoop it right out. Look at that, it's perfect. See, look at that, we got, we maximized how much fruit we're gonna get in that smoothie. We'll do the other one. Just go slow too, because these ends kind of pop out sometimes. These chunks can pop out. Delicious. All right. So now we'll dispose of the skins. It's really important not to make these, it's important not to eat these skins. You don't want to eat those skins. That's gonna, that's gonna mess up your system, so. Okay, so now to the piece de resistance, it's the avocado. This is my favorite part of the smoothie. And it's not because necessarily the taste, even though I love the taste, I can eat these plain, but these are so nutrient rich and nutrient dense 
as everyone knows, they provide essential fatty acids. They have great fats in them, all poly and monounsaturated fats, which are super important for your cell membranes. It's super important for the overall health of your body. We need those good fats. So don't shy away from those. So as you may know, as I well know, avocados can be quite dangerous to cut, but we can, we can mitigate a lot of the danger with cutting an avocado by just keeping it on the cutting board. A lot of people like to hold it in their hand. Do not hold this in your hands when you're cutting this. This is how you get an injury. I even got one right there, right at the end. <laughs> you don't want that. So I keep it on the cutting board here. And basically what we'd wanna do is just cut into it until you feel the pit and then circle around. Look at that. It's like it was made to be eaten by us, right? And then what I do to get the pit out, easy. All right, so the same thing for cutting an avocado after you split it apart into its two halves. Same thing as I did for the mango. I'm gonna make a cross section with these so that we can blend it up nice. It's gonna blend up way easier with smaller pieces and we're gonna be able to fit more fruit in there. Because the purpose of this, you guys, is not only that it's tasty, but that we pack as much nutrient into this smoothie as possible. So there's my cross section. And when the avocado's ripe like this, it's super easy. It just goes through like butter. And then I take that spoon again and I scoop it into my smoothie. And again, you do not want to eat these skins. These are not made to be eaten. They actually call these skins inedible. <laughs> it can be extremely bad for you. And this is basically my base. This is what I use as a base, avocado and mango. It gives you so many of the nutrients that you need. And everything that comes after now, guys, is just gravy. It's just extra. Next, we're gonna add in our spinach, which spinach is amazing on its own because of the folic acid it provides. It helps maintain blood pressure, and it also is great for our eyesight. It has a ton of vitamins and minerals in it. So I'm gonna use some of the spinach. We're gonna have to kind of play around with the amounts here. Because again, I pack these full. I pack these full. And if you do it right, you can fit enough in there. And of course you can, you can change this recipe as you want to, to use a little less of each of these fruits. Maybe you want to use half. And so the last step is I like to add some frozen pineapple to the mix. Really any frozen fruit is going to do. Uh, frozen blueberries, for instance, are going to be great. They provide a ton of antioxidants, but I love the pineapple because it adds a lot of sweetness to the smoothie. And a lot of people get worried about fruits like pineapples, for instance, because of the sugar content. But the thing that we need to understand about sugar is that not all sugar is created equal. Processed sugars do not break down in our body the same way that fruit sugars do. For instance, sugar from a pineapple and mangoes are gonna break down slower and give us more energy throughout the day. So it actually works better with our system. We need these sugars. So I'm gonna put these in. And also because it's frozen, it makes this nice and cold too. All right, so for our last step here, we basically, we've got our smoothie finished. We've got it filled. You don't wanna fill it past the lip. Sometimes I get a little too overzealous and I fill it too full with, with fruit and it's gonna make it harder later on. So I like to fill it up to about there, right to the edge there. And then we're gonna put in our liquid. You're gonna need a liquid. Even as juicy as these fruits are, you're gonna need some liquid there. So I love milk substitutes, and what I'm using is almond milk right now, but you can find whatever whatever liquid you like. The milk, milk is great. This goes great with water too, even, honestly. Um, so anything you wanna use for that, I fill it up and I leave a little bit room, a little bit of room because as much as fruits and vegetables will provide us with protein that we desperately need for our bodies to build muscle, all that good stuff, um, I do like to supplement. So I'm gonna put in my favorite protein supplement as well. And this protein supplement also has a great flavor to it. So you can find whatever one works for you. And I'm just gonna add one scoop. And it's got a great flavor as well. I think this one's coconut almond, which is amazing. All right. Now don't worry, this looks super full, but you're gonna be fine. Cause next, we're gonna take our blade, we're gonna attach it, 
And then now comes the loud part. This sounds like a band saw when it goes off, but trust me, it's worth it. <laughs> Now, as you can see, I probably didn't need to blend it that long, but because we're using such fibrous fruits and veggies, I really like to let it blend so that we don't get big chunks, you know, when we're drinking it. Okay, now I've separated them out into two glasses, as you can see, because I'm gonna invite Charles in for a little taste test, and we're gonna see what he thinks about not only the taste, but the texture of these smoothies as well because I, I love the texture that the avocado provides and that's why most people put something like a banana in a smoothie. But bananas honestly overpower anything that they're in. And the avocado is such a nutrient dense food that if we can get the same texture from an avocado, I'm gonna choose an avocado every single time. And again, we've grown this with Ivy Organics. And so this nutrition, it's going right here. All right, so let's bring Charles in for a little taste test here and see what he thinks. Thank you so very much, Mitch, for making this smoothie for me. I can't say it's delicious yet. And um, I know I've been watching you every day for now about three years. You come into work and this is your staple food. And I've never once been tempted to try this. <laughs> I am a huge vegetable, fruit eater, and it's a huge part of my daily diet. But I'm sure there's a lot of you guys watching this too. To turn into a smoothie like this, that's another um, step that I encourage all of us to take. And it's another way to incorporate so much more nutrition that you would never get if you're just eating them in their whole parts. So thank you so very much for introducing me and let's, let's give it go. a shot. Yeah, let's go to the next level. Cheers. All right. Obviously, I mean, so the pineapple, like that's a huge like plus yeah, when it yeah. comes to adding that sweetness, tanginess, citrus, yep. like um, added flavor. These are perfect for after a workout. Um, these are definitely, this is, this is maybe not for the faint of heart. This is as nutrient packed as you can get with one of these smoothies. And I know that a lot of people love adding, um, you know, delicious treats to these, but if we can get used to just the the beautiful tastes of the fruits and the veggies in here. You did an amazing job. Yep. Thank you again so very much, Mitch, for sharing this delicious recipe. I know you've got a lot of other health tips and tricks um, that I've seen you bring to the office and eager to hopefully share with you guys too. If you've liked what Mitch shared with you here on the Ivory Organics YouTube channel, um, simply write us in the comments below or any other suggestions you'd like to see more from Mitch, um, who's been a part of our team for several years. And I'm gonna share some of the other educational lessons he's brought when it comes to using the Ivory Organic Six Macros Plus fertilizers that offers your plant all six, not just the three macronutrients, the NPK, but also the magnesium, sulfur, and calcium, and the use of the whitewash and the three-in-one products. Um, all of that education is brought to you over the last few years, and we're gonna try to integrate them a lot more this year and in the future years again with your hopefully positive feedback so we're looking forward to that as well if you've enjoyed this educational lesson brought to you by our organics be sure to give us that thumbs up and most importantly share us with your gardening friends and family and if you have not yet done so already be sure to subscribe and hit the push bell notification to stay informed with all of these educational lessons as soon as they become made available and as always keep growing with ivory organics and wishing you all happy gardening happy gardening